grateful to be here in the Mother Church. We are uh, always reflecting here at the Ryman upon hope and gratitude and hospitality. Looks like a um, great host of good Greek, good, good, hello. Hello, Lee Camp. It's Ruth, Ruth from Palmyra. Well, it's Ruth from Palmyra. Ruth. As you know, we're doing a show. You know we're doing a show tonight. We don't really need to be calling. I mean, we're, we're just halfway through the first act. Oh, my word, Lee Camp. It's not even half over. Does your audience know that? I mean, no. I, I, well, yeah. I'm, Ruth, come well, on. Now, Lee Camp, I know that sometimes when I call, I just kind of run down the going zone here in Palmyra or I talk about what it was like to date Calvin Coolidge. But... This time I got a problem, and I think it's a problem only a theologian can help me out with. Ruth, this is really probably not the best time, but I guess we have been friends for what, close to 10 years now. Mm-hmm, that's almost 10% of my life. Yeah. <laughs> and you have never asked me for help, and uh, so, all right, what can I help you with, even in front of all these people? Well, do you know a good theologian? Ruth! <laughs> I'm a professor of theology. I think I can help you. What's going on in Palmyra? Oh, well, that's just precious. I had no idea. Or maybe I had an idea when I was in my 80s, but that's a long time ago, Lee Camp. Yes, theology was a lot younger back then. What's your theological issue there, Well, now, see, the church where I attend, the Palmyra Holy Judgment, is looking for a new preacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Transitions like that can be hard for churches, you know. You know, even in some of Paul's writings to the Corinthians. Uh huh. I'm sure that's a lovely story, Lee Camp. <laughs> but now, see, it was my idea for him to leave. <laughs> see, now I actually got the idea from watching the news. The news. Yes, I've decided to have him impreached. Ruth, I think you're mixing politics and theology here. Well, yes, Lee Camp, you taught me well. <laughs> but there's no such thing as being impreached. I think the word you're looking for is impeach, and that's not what's done to preachers. Well, it is in Palmyra. <laughs> and if memory serves, I think that may have happened to Calvin Coolidge, too. But... Now, you see, our preacher, he started getting all politically correct on us, and he didn't even tell us he's going to do it. I'm, I'm not following you. Well, for example, he started on and on about quoting Herman Udick. And now, I, I knew the Udick family growing up in Palmyra, <laughs> and I never trusted anything Herman said. <laughs> Ruth, Ru, listen, Herman Udick deals with interpretations of literary texts, not... Never, never mind. Well, no. Now, the Herman I knew back in the 20s, he dealt with the interpretation of professional wrestling moves. <laughs> you know, church was so much better back then. They'd, preachers would just tell us we was going to hell, and then they'd pass the collection plate. <laughs> and what, what do they do now? Well, they pass the collection plate first. But seriously, Ruth, does that really qualify as political correctness? That's no reason to get rid of a minister. Well, Lee Camp, I think you mean womenister. That's more gender neutral. <laughs> it's like hurricanes and hemicanes. No, Ruth, Ruth, I think you're a little confused there. About... No, it's the same reason there needed to be a second letter to Samuel in the Bible. It was to balance out the first one. You know, just, you know, meteorology is the study of meteors and archaeology is the study of arcs and <laughs> theology, Lee, is the study of the... It, it must be wonderful in your mind, Well. Ruth. Oh, I'm just getting started, Lee Kane. Yeah. I haven't even told you about our soon-to-be impreached preacher's preaching. He said, wives are to submit their husbands as a living sacrifices. <laughs> I, I, I think... I 
think you, I think you will, you know, just continue. I want to see where this goes. Why, yes, Lee Camp. Now, I've outlived three husbands, and I'm always looking for a fourth. Are you still married? Yes, Ruth, yes. Still happily married to my lovely wife, Laura. Well, you know, you just let me know if that ever changes. But now, back to that soon to be in preached preacher. That's right, right. So, we got, we somehow got off a of track we were never quite on, I think. Well, see, now, I guess I just think he's too young, Lee Camp, you know. It's kind of like you used to be way back when. I, I prefer my preachers to be no more than 75 years younger than me. But maybe, maybe you can be a, a mentor to him, Ruth. That's women Lee Camp. Maybe, maybe you can be a good influence on him, a guide. The North Star there in Palmyra. You know, differences in age, even differences in politics can be navigated with some good theology. Well, see, now that's the thing, Lee Camp. I'm not sure about this young politically correct theology. Sometimes he claps his hands when he sings. Now, that's not so bad, is it? And sometimes he don't tuck in his shirt. Have you have you talked to him? And he leaves the fog machine running the whole time during the flannel graph presentation. Well, I mean, that's... And, you know, folks are spreading rumors about him, or so I've heard. It's rumors I'd never repeat, mainly because I can't remember. Ruth, listen, Ruth, if your church is so important to you, then I think you just need to go talk to him. Let him know how you feel and what you think. Well, or sometimes you put the logical and theological leak in. Well, thank you, Ruth. You, um, you... You put the pal in Palmyra. Oh, well, I do like your little show there, Lee Camp. Now, do they ever impeach token show hosts? Not so far, not so far. Well, when it finally does happen, you're always welcome in Palmyra. And next year, when I turn 98, we're riding our church's new pedal tavern to come see you. Thank, thank you, Ruth. Miss Jenny Littleton.